10 million for your operations. And we really appreciate it if there is too much. You work. $35 million for WHO for their efforts at the field. This contribution, will allow us to continue. His Highness the Emir has, has promised that the pledge uh, to be fulfilled. We did it. Uh, and we will do everything to do in order that uh, to alleviate the sufferings of the, of the Syrian people. Because we know it's, it's calamity, but at least uh, what we are doing is to stabilize at least the economic situation and the help needed in the humanitarian fields in one field, but definitely without a political solution, we will not reach to a, a, a good conclusion. So we're working in all different fields that we can, uh, we can help uh, to, to bring this tragedy and this disaster uh, to an end. Unfortunately, our programs uh, were all relatively underfunded. Until now, our programs were all around 30% of our funding. With the Kuwaiti contribution, that has changed substantially the situation, and that has given us the margin of maneuver to now go on intensifying our efforts, even if, obviously, the needs until the end of June and until the end of the year will still request many other countries to follow the example of Kuwait and to engage in humanitarian aid. This is not going to be able to meet the needs of uh, the crisis that we're, uh, what, what, that we're facing. Um, this is a leadership contribution, a leadership act by Kuwait and by the leadership of Kuwait, um, and we need more to follow it. It's going to take extraordinary resources to be able to sustain uh, the kind of impact we're going to try and achieve uh, with this contribution. We will run out of funds uh, able to distribute by the end of May. But if we don't have contributions today, we won't be able to feed in June. And what the contribution from Kuwait has done is it, it, it has protected the first two weeks in June.